Welcome, everybody. It's the Team Butterfly Effect All Hands Call. It is Monday, the 3rd of October. I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy for the people that are on live. I'm happy for the, all y'all that listen to this recorded. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to plug in to Team Butterfly Effect. We're all happier here. Um, just a couple pieces of housekeeping for the week, a little bit of news and updates before we get into the meat of tonight's call. Um, a couple things. A, it's the first week of a new month. And um, so congratulations to everybody who hit their goals last month. Um, to those of you who are beginning to work towards this month, you know, it's time to refocus. And, and I have to share with you too, it's like, I was looking at the coach breaking news today um, to see what our specials were. And I don't know if you noticed, but it literally said in there the last month for all of the most popular challenge groups to be on sale. So um, I have this feeling that um, next month, Court of Force will probably go on sale and that will be like the sale item so probably everything will up else will be back up to its original price but just just to reiterate if you guys aren't aware how like crazy uh, amazing the challenge packs are right now for 140 dollars like guys the club challenge pack for only 140 dollars comes with the portion control container system um 21 day fix extreme is now on bod um, so is hammer and chisel and so a lot of those programs that traditionally came with the cups are on bod now this is such an amazing tool such an amazing value for all of us um, especially those of us who are running our challenge groups because you know when we get people doing their prep week for their accountability groups and you're trying to get them to go through their pantry and help them know how to use their containers or whatever like autumn does all that for us now on the new fixate cooking show like all there's so many tools to make our job as coaches that much easier it's just up to us to utilize them and just like for an example sorry just drop something just to share with you an example um one of my new customers um who bought the club challenge pack the other day she was really mainly just interested in shakeology she wasn't as interested in everything else but i gave it her to be her homework assignment this past weekend to watch the fixate cooking show um the pantry the pantry raid so she knew things to go get out of her cabinets i had her watch the containers 101 so she knew if if she wanted to use them so she knew how to use them so it doesn't take you as a coach anymore going and holding someone's hand they have those there and they're such an amazing tool we just have to actually take the time to utilize them and share them with our people and let them know that they're there. So that's piece number one. Piece number two, don't forget um, if you if you work with me on my monthly marketing plan or if you like to be a part of that or if you do your own um, clean eating or free groups, usually it's going on next week. So if you want to be a part of mine, mine is the Wellness Jumpstart. It has meditation tips. Um, I do morning morning hashtag morning motivation every morning and do a YouTube video. So I try to give them all like free little insights into all the different things that I do daily as a coach and things that I do daily as my own practice. And so I highly encourage you to do that too. So if you're not running your own free groups, know that you are more than welcome to invite your people to mine. It is my goal to have my group ready at the latest by Thursday this week. So you can start to add people to it so I really hope you're inviting this is the time of the month guys that I invite like a mad woman because how easy is it to invite to a free group it's really easy like I have this going on would you like me to add you it's free yes or no you know make, makes it really really easy to invite people to those free groups and then it's up to you to build relationships with people throughout that group okay so that's piece number two piece number three I got about four or five pieces for y'all before we get to the meet tonight piece number three is um, if you want to be a part of my accountability group I do have my next 21 day group starting on um, Monday next week it's just gonna be a basic multi-program group I think we're calling it um, 
lean before Halloween or lean by Halloween. However, I am doing my best to get a different accountability group going on that's it's called Hot at Home. And it is about, um, it's about keeping things spicy in the sex life at home. And I actually had meetings with, um, I had a meeting this afternoon with a sex therapist friend of mine who's considering um, adding content to the group. So it's going to be quite an interesting group. So if you want to participate in it or if you want to invite people to it, know that you're welcome to do so. Anything that I do, you're always welcome to be a part of. So if you happen to just run upon someone who's just really looking to add some spice into their love life or into their relationship, know that that's something that I'm working on that you're uh, that you are welcome to piggyback on as well. Last but not least, um, if you looked at the team marketing plan calendar that I posted on Friday, um, you will see in there that it says that on Friday, I believe from 11 until 5 p.m. speed dating with Aubrey. Now, what the heck is that? Um, it is actually an idea that I got from Miss Trina Gray. Um, it's one of my elite girl crushes that I have. And um, it's something that she does specifically to um, connect with uh, specifically like discount coaches and coaches deeper in her downline. Now, anybody and everybody is welcome to be involved. Tomorrow what I'm doing is I am creating a Google Doc um, spreadsheet type of thing. Don't ask me for the exact name of it. I, I you know that that tech technology is not my forte, but I'll be making some sort of form that has all um, my time slots available. It's going to be 15 minute time slots that I'll just be sitting on my personal meeting room on Zoom available to connect with anyone and everyone within the organization who just would like a 15 minute chunk of my time, whether it's to fill me in on what's going on with you personally, whether it's to ask some advice about something, whether it's to connect as friends. However, the thing that I am asking is if you and I do regular KPI meetings, so if you and I are doing regular phone calls, that you do not take one of these time slots because you and I already have time slots set on a regular already. Um, so this was mainly intended for people who I don't talk to con on a consistent basis. Okay, so we have an opportunity. I'm scheduling time to connect with those people. And if you're a discount coach on the team and you've been wanting some of my time and attention, please take the time to plug in. Um, if you're a discount coach, I hope you're watching this and see this. Um, but if not, uh, I will be making that document available within Team Butterfly Effect tomorrow, and we'll be sharing it with everyone. So if anybody does want a meeting with me, that, that, that space is being created. So getting on to the meat of tonight's call. Um, so guys, we within our work, within our job, it should be your job to be a collector of stories because facts tell and story sell meaning like i could give a whole big long of facts to someone about shakeology and tell them why it's such an amazing product or i can tell them what it's done for my body personally or what it's done for someone that i care about personally and that is going to be a whole lot more moving inspiring motivating than just sharing them the facts about what the products are. And although tonight is not just about products, this is about a story. Um, it's very important for us to know each other's stories. And the reason why is because, you know, you may be in a life situation that is completely different from me, but you may run along upon someone within your social network who has a very similar life situation as Eric. So wouldn't it be nice if you knew what Eric's story was? And so your story may not resonate with them, but maybe you can, you, well, this, you know, I had a friend who went through a very similar situation than you, and this is what they experienced, and this is how they dealt with it. And by us being able to share those stories with people, it helps us connect with people, and it helps us do our job better. And so about, um, gosh, was it two and a half years ago, three years ago, something like that? Um, I was working an event and um, I was teaching in a journey dance or I was teaching in a static dance within a yoga community in Dallas. And I met 
the photographer there and the photographer there, her name was Amanda. And, you know, a couple of weeks later after meeting this girl, Amanda, I got a friend request from this girl, Tara. And, um, little did I know Tara was watching what I was doing. And that's the way social media works is that people watch and you don't even know that they're watching. And, um, because, this girl named Amanda got signed up as a coach. Um, I started talking to her friend Tara about Pio as well too. And um, Tara decided to become a coach as well. Well, Amanda's no longer with the team, but Tara is. And Tara has had phenomenal results with Pio and she stepped up to be a coach. She is, she is an Emerald coach with more coaches than just two underneath her. She is a mother of two young girl of, of two girls. I was about to say young girls, but they're more like young women now. And, um, and she is going to share with us her story. And it's not just about Beachbody. Tara, I hope you plan to go into the nitty and gritty at the beginning. Is tell us from the beginning of the story um, and what she has overcome and how Beachbody has been a has been a part of it. So I'm really excited to introduce Emerald Coach Team Butterfly Effect Tara Barnett. So Tara, thank you for joining us tonight. Good evening, <laughs> Eric. You might have heard this before, but um, so my journey with fitness started probably almost 10, almost 11, 11 in January. Um, I actually had uh, gotten separated from my husband. Uh, he had a, a drug addiction with pain pills that led to a heroin addiction. And after I think overdose number three, I decided that, um, I couldn't join him in his downward spiral. I needed to jump out of it and take care of myself. So um, at that time, I was 60 pounds heavier. I have two girls, uh, 19 and 14 now. Um, they were, gosh, three and seven-ish, I guess. Um, and I was very unhappy and I was very depressed. Um, and so I stayed married with my husband till he could get a neck surgery done. And that was supposed to cure all the pain that he was having. Um, so we did that and his mom sent him to rehab and lo and behold, a month after rehab, I go, he moved in with his parent, his mom and his stepdad. So we were sharing the girls cause um, he was also the type of person that if I took those girls away from him, he probably would have ran off with them and I might have not seen them again. So I had to kind of play my cards a little safely. Um, and so then um, I picked them up in October, I believe. And I, he was standing there talking to me with his eyes closed and I texted his mom. I was like, he's using again. Like, I hope you know this. Like, he's not tired and then um come february no january and uh, january 18th actually he uh, was planning to go to movies with friends and he overdosed for the final time and so that's really where i threw myself uh, my mom came up to help me uh, when that happened and i threw myself into yoga <laughs> i was like straight yoga um, for weeks, um, she helped me. And so that's where I started. Um, and so I started working on me again. I went to the gym and um, started to realize that all of these programs I was paying for at the gym turned out to be beach body programs. And then kind of Aubrey came in to the picture at that time, which I'd known Amanda since she was 16. She went, actually went to high school with my ex-husband is how I knew her. Um, so, uh, yes, I started stalking all the new Um, and then, um, you know, I started drinking my shake. Um, always been constipated. <laughs> so I, uh, the shake was at my, you know, shakeology was a welcome change to that. Um, 
and I, I haven't been, I keep te wanting to joke about it, but I haven't been sick in over two years, like going on three years now since I started my Shakeology and more clean eating versus not clean eating. Um, so I'm a big believer that food is medicine. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna, I fought my depression and um, with exercise and I've been, down I still have 10 that likes to creep back on every now and then um but I've been 60 pounds down for about seven years now six or seven years now um and I have two strong girls because my goal in all this too was to show them that um it really doesn't matter what life hands you but you can be strong and you can overcome it um, that was probably one of the biggest downfalls of their father was he chose to be the victim. And so my goal was to make sure they weren't going to play the victim. <laughs> and thank God I was the one with the job because I didn't have to look for a job. <laughs> I was already making the money. So, um, so yeah, now I have two beautiful girls and... Um, I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. So, so Tara, out of uh, for, with your experience, and so you were you said you've lost about approximately sixty pounds. Is that how much you've lost? Yes. Okay. So, how much had you lost before you and I met? Um, I was probably on my last twenty. Okay, you were on your last 20. So how did you lose your first 40? Was it just yoga and clean eating? It was yoga and I started Weight Watchers. So I started with Weight Watchers. And you're doing Weight Watchers. So share with us the difference from someone who, say someone who's talking to someone who, a coach who's talking to someone who's in Weight Watchers. How would, how does the Weight Watchers accountability program differ from our accountability program. Give us a little bit of comparison and contrast. Um, well, I mean, Weight Watchers is all about your weight. So you get on the scale as soon as you get there. Um, so there's no like, oh, my clothes fit better. That doesn't matter. Um, it taught me more about water than anything. I really think I love the containers because there's so much more freedom with the containers than um, either the packaged food or I think they have more freedom now, but when I had done it, uh, there's a lot more freedom with the containers that we do. Well, also share with everybody. So Tara works full time and she's a single mom. So please share with everybody um, how, A, why you've chosen to make this into more than just your own fitness journey why have you chosen to actually coach people and pay it forward and how do you fit it into your day i i was on blood pressure medicine and so after i started losing the weight i came off the blood pressure medicine and uh, i'm surrounded whether it be my mom my mother-in-law i'm surrounded by people that are overweight um, and don't exercise and they don't eat well um, so my goal is to help people and give them the tools that is not that hard. Um, it's something you can live with. It's not a diet. <laughs> like you have to change the way you are. Um, my mom lost 20 pounds just doing the portion containers and drinking Shakeology. She has bad knees and she can't really exercise that much. So she's even proof the product can work in a different way without exercise. Um, I just, I want to pay it forward is something I believe I mean I believe in it it works so how do you fit it into your day with your schedule of being a single mom who works full-time I don't fit it into my day as much as I should or as well as I should um I'm a big social media person so I do try to get it in my social media as much as possible um I have started to reach out if somebody likes it or I'm seeing people visit certain posts, then I try to talk to them about it. Um, I need to be more strict with my time. I don't, I'm not as good 
with yeah, managing my time management as I should be. I just finished taking a three week nutrition class and that was kind of occupying my time, but I won't make other excuses. I don't, I don't, I hate inviting. You hate inviting. That's what it is. That that's her, her frog, her frog that she, totally. that, that she never eats. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that well Tara tell us this um right so I'll just share with everybody you had do you feel like for you the ultimate reset was the big turning point and the first time you did that did it as far as your nutrition and everything was concerned was that like the big shift or, or has, was it something else i well, I think it definitely was a big shift to realize that I could live like all off plant-based food and not any meat because I mean, my dad's a hunter. I mean, I've been raised around meat a lot. Um, yeah, it took my nutrition to a whole nother level for sure. Ultimate reset. I love it. Like I, I just made the coconut collard greens because I missed them. And I'm like, I've never ate collard greens before. Yeah. So share with us, okay, so for those of you all who don't know, um, you know, Tara is a foodie, and she, if you ever go to her page, that's is she, her and Eric and Jill, I would say, are some of the, our resident foodies in the group. Um, share with, uh, share with everybody what you've been doing recently. She, Tara has participated, um, um, Amanda, and specifically um, Melissa McAllister, they are proponents of high fat, low carb, and specifically a man or um, Melissa to intermittent fasting, which intermittent fasting is where you eat all of your calories within the day within an eight hour window. And you do not eat, you do not eat outside of that eight hour window at all with the intention of that, that, that your body will burn more fat. Um, if you're fast during the, during the other times of the day, Tara, for compared to, for those of us who generally follow like the fixate plan, share with us some of the, the things that you loved about high fat, low carb and intermittent fasting, anything that was a pain in the butt, share with us some of your feedback based on that. I absolutely love it. Um, it has all my favorite foods, which are eggs, bacon, avocado. <laughs> um, I really like it. I'm not, I don't find it hard for the intermittent fasting part. So I eat from like 10 to six usually. So I have my breakfast at 10. Uh, I've been having my shake for lunch and then I'm having dinner. Um, I think where I fail is I also like vodka and tequila. And so I think I tend to drink too much on the weekend and I ruin every, well, not ruin everything, but like I was so good the first two weeks when I was in that group and I could see things happening to my body. Like if I continue to not drink alcohol, that it would be amazing. So someday I need to make that choice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then you ask yourself the question, how bad do I do? What do I want more tequila or a flat stomach. Which but I have that? started experimenting with red wine versus tequila and vodka. And I think the red wine, there's something about red wine that doesn't affect you as badly as the tequila and vodka. And I'm, I haven't got my, hold my finger on it quite yet, but. And see, I, I'm not quite there with you sister because I tend to drink more of the wine than I do of the tequila mm -hmm. and the vodka. I'm okay with like one vodka drink, but with a glass of red wine, I want like an <laughs> eight ounce to 16 ounce glass. I mean, big old, big old glass. So Tara, based on anybody who is listening to this, who's maybe a new coach, what would you say based on Shakeology, what was the main thing that Shakeology did for you and why do you still drink it today? It helps me go to the bathroom is the main thing. <laughs> Um, cause you, you it just gives me, before. yeah. And I'm actually going to the doctor cause I still struggle with some of that. But anyway, um, I, I really think it's what's kept me not sick. Okay. 
it's helped with all of that. Well, you know, I was listening to an Inside Shakeology the other day and he was talking about all the adaptogens that are in Shakeology. And for those of you who don't know adaptogens, they're, they're herbs that are in Shakeology that are in different foods that literally help you adapt. Like if you're high anxiety, they help bring you down a level. Or if you're low energy, they help lift you up. It literally helps you adapt to your environment. So you feel like with a boost immune system and the, the adaptogens, maybe it's just help, helped you regulate and stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So based on share, now share with us lastly, um, based on your fitness programs and so on, besides we know you love yoga, what's been your soulmate workout? Uh, the ones that you have felt like have done the best for your body particularly. I, I mean, I really enjoyed hammer and chisel. Um, but after today, my new soulmate workout will be core to force. Oh, really? You loved uh, it oh today. My God. Huh? I, well, I used to do Kempo karate when the girls were young. And then we had Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at that place too. And I did some kickboxing and yeah, I really enjoyed that today. That's good to hear. I didn't do it because I was afraid my, my shoulder is like this close to being healed. And I was really afraid that I would do like a right hook way too yeah. hard or something and throw something off. So I chose to honor my shoulders for that. Well, Tara, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciated hearing your story tonight. I mean, you've overcome so much. And for people who say that, you know, they have a rough situation to hear that, you know, you're a mother of, of two girls who has suffered not just having a widow, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a little bit different when you watch yes. them kill themselves. So that, that you've had, you've overcome that and you've overcome, um, you've overcome obesity and we're so proud to have you a part of the team. Um, I value you and I value this relationship and um, thank you for sharing tonight. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay. Awesome. So guys, 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 guys. The, so if you didn't get anything from tonight, the main thing is, is that everybody has their own journey. Everybody has their own experience. Everybody has their own situation. And so we can never assume anything. Had I met, when I met Tara on this, no way, no way did I know that she Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Ah, ha ha. There's a little thing on my thing or there's a little move. <laughs> I, I, I push that. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Anyway, guys, um, everybody has their own story. It's very important to find out what, what that story is of the person across from you who you're speaking speaking to and you never know what's going to resonate with the next person so thank you so much tara you guys have a freaking fantastic day if you want some of my time once i get that um that document out tomorrow please make sure you request some of my time during speed dating on friday um otherwise we'll see you on social have a great one chrissy i'll call you in just about two minutes okay Bye, girl.